guys, it's Thomas here, and today I'm going to show you a nifty little way you can upgrade your Python no-spill clean and fill for kind of ultimate convenience, especially if you've got multiple tanks. So I've got a brand new Python here because I haven't yet opened it, and some of the accessories I'm going to be using uh, around my studio here with all the aquariums. And uh, if you don't know what a Python no-spill clean and fill is, it is a water change system that allows you to essentially cut out buckets entirely. You can hook the Python up to a faucet, whether it's bathroom, kitchen, laundry basin, all kinds of adapters you can get for them. You hook it up, it'll allow you to drain water directly from the tank down the drain, no buckets, and then fill the tank directly back up if you so choose to do, no buckets which is great. Um, I think they're super awesome, especially if you've got many tanks or large aquariums. It just makes life a lot easier. Or if you just don't want to carry five gallon pails full of water around, that's like 50 pounds a piece. So uh, if you want some more information on pythons, because you don't know what they are, we do have a video on Python and how to use it and what it does. So check that out up here. But now I will open this up and uh, show you a cool way you can kind of make things go a little bit faster for you, especially with all the accessories. Here we go. So I'm just going to tear this open with my scissor-like fingers, apparently. That worked out perfectly. So inside, you will get this really nifty little uh, manual full of all of the accessories and Python products that you can get. Haha! -ha. And my favorite superhero ever is on it, Python Man. So inside here, you're going to have your adapter and T-pump. So what this is, is a, a, almost like a venturi that allows the water to um, from your faucet to go down. And that creates suction on this end, which the Python hooks up to. So that's how you drain the tank. You twist the bell on the bottom and that actually plugs it. So then water from the tap will go through the hose instead of coming from the tank. It'll go to the tank. So that's a very quick rundown on how this piece works. So that will hook up to the uh, faucet and then the end here of the python hooks up to the t-pump. So you'll notice that the, these are the instructions which I'm going to put aside. The bell here or the actual gravel vacuum portion of the uh, python connects with a short piece of tubing to this valve assembly here. So the reason it does that is not only to include the valve, but so if you, uh, if you need to, you can always put a larger, um, or even, sh uh, this might be the shortest one. You can put a larger uh, gravel siphon on. If you have a deep tank, obviously you don't wanna be getting your arms soaking wet, getting to the bottom of it. So I also have here a much larger one. I'm gonna kind of show you how that quickly hooks up. All right. So you can see this is a much, much longer, and they get way longer than this even. I think the longest one we have might be 48 inches, 36 or 48, something like that. So now if I need to change it, I would just screw this on here, just like that. And it would screw directly on to the valve assembly. And now I've got the longer part on. Now that only takes a few seconds, which is all well and good, but over time threading can be a little bit, um, you know, gummed up from doing it over and over and over, or if you get it dirty, swapping them out or anything, it can, it can grind it up a little bit. You don't want to do that. So one thing Python uh, makes available, which makes this whole process so much easier, are these brass quick connect adapters. And how these work is you just pull down and it pops off. And then you need to put it back, you just pull down and it pops back on. So you have no threading that you're constantly doing up and undoing. So what I do is I get one of these for every single um, accessory that I'm going to be using with my no spill clean and fill so that I can just hook the uh, accessory directly up to that uh, quick connect. And they only need to be hand tight. You don't want to go crazy with it because you don't want to strip it. Let's see here. There we go. And then this end very conveniently screws onto the valve assembly. 
So now instead of threading, it's just a very quick on and off. So I've got three of them here because I've got three separate accessories that I'm using. I'm using a longer uh, gravel siphon um, for some larger tanks that aren't yet set up. Uh, I've got my shorter one for the planted systems when I'm doing water changes there and even the smaller reef that I've got uh, for draining and then also for the python hook. So this is what uh, allows you to kind of just rest the tubing on the edge of the aquarium and it refills your tank without you having to stand there uh, holding it kind of into the tank or with the longer gravel tubes, especially if you just let them sit there, the tubing can kink and then it's not gonna fill. So this prevents all of that, which is why I really like using them. So now I've got a second adapter here. Now I don't actually need this part again because I've already got one. I'm just going to hook up the uh, nippled portion so that when it comes time, I can just do a quick swap. So if I want to change it, I just pull one out, push the other in. Want to change it, pull one out, push the other in. It's super convenient. Uh, I, I much prefer doing this. I actually took me a couple of years to realize that they even made these. And once I found them, I can't go back. I refuse because this is just so much easier. So I'm gonna get this one unboxed and do the exact same thing. Same thing, pop it off. Just gonna screw the brass adapter end in here. There we go. Be careful not to cross thread. I mean, it's pretty easy to cross thread anything if you're not paying enough attention and you definitely don't wanna do that. So now I've got that in there. As soon as I'm ready, I'm done doing my water change, sucking out all the water, I can now refill. Now this is ready to go. Like it makes so much sense. So one thing, you don't wanna throw these away. Uh, a, just in case anything happens to the one that's attached to your Python, you have two spares, which is great. The other thing is they all have rubber uh, bushings in them to make sure that there's no leaking. So if you ever have any damage to the rubber bushing you're using, you can always pull the rubber bushing out of your spares here and pop them in. So just put these somewhere safe, under your tank, wherever, and hold on to them for later use. Uh, and the last thing I want to show you, in case you didn't know it exists, is the Python Porter. So the Python Porter is very simple. It's just a Velcro, uh, basically management system. So when you're done with your Python, you can just throw it around, zip it up. It's got a handle. Now, Carrying it by the handle is all well and good, but the reason I really like the handle is because I can put a hook somewhere on the wall uh, in my laundry room or something like that, wherever you keep your aquarium stuff, and it just hangs there instead of tossing it under a cabinet or uh, you know, just leaving it all tangled up somewhere, which I used to do all the time. Don't tell anyone. Uh, this is just a much nicer way to handle it. So um, now whenever I've, I've got any uh, water change devices or anything like that, I, I use these to keep them in line. Even if I just have spare tubing or um, just a regular gravel cleaner, not the Python system, I still use these porters. I just get a porter and kind of wrap it up and hang it on the wall. I find it just super convenient. So that's it. It's a really, 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 really easy way to upgrade your Python for ultimate convenience. So every single part that you've got just has that little brass nipple on the end of it, just like that. And you can swap very, very easily from one to the other. You're not constantly undoing threading and doing threading back up, which again, these are pretty robust, but over time, any anytime you're threading something on and off a lot, you could wear the threading down. It could get gummed up with um, any kind of gunk from the tank during water changes. You don't wanna go through that. This is just way easier. So yeah, if you have a Python, get some of these and make your life easier. If you don't have a Python, get a Python and make your life easier and then make your life even easier. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to upgrade your Python and make it a little bit more convenient for you. Uh, or maybe you're just inspired to actually get a Python now if you don't already have one. Uh, if you'd like to, drop a comment down in the comment section below. I'd love to answer any questions you might have, whether it's about Pythons or anything aquatic related. I like to have fun in the comment section with you. So yeah, talk to me down there. Also, you can reach out to us on social media like Facebook. Check out our Instagram if you want some aquatic eye candy. And you know, maybe subscribe. 
If you want to keep doing this kind of stuff here with us, we've got Planet Tank builds. We've got some other builds that are going to happen shortly. Lots of fun stuff. I'd love to have you here so that we could keep on tanking with uh, a really cool python and maybe a headdress and a necklace made of pythons. It's pretty fashionable. I dig it. I'm here for you. And so is all the other commenters are instead of is. Let's try again. Hey guys, it's Thomas here. Wait, that's the beginning. <laughs> Brian's gonna use this as an outtake. <laughs> I feel silly.